everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, then welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update. I cannot tell you guys how many requests I have gotten for this. I really haven't filmed any like pregnancy videos other than like our gender reveal and our announcement video. So I'm gonna kind of be just telling you guys about my pregnancy, what's been going on with me, tell you some pregnancy must-haves that I do have, and yeah, if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you guys do not know, we did announce that we are expecting our first child. We are so excited. We recently also just shared that we are having a boy. If you guys haven't checked out my gender reveal video, I will have it linked down below. So we did just have our gender reveal and we announced that we are having a little boy and we couldn't be more excited about it. So if you are wondering where I'm at in my pregnancy, I'm officially 21 and a half weeks pregnant at this point and everything has went really smooth. We have had such an easy pregnancy so far I've been so blessed and so lucky to have not dealt with any morning sickness or really have any nausea or any of those symptoms I've been so lucky to not have those I have so many friends who are pregnant and so many friends who have dealt with that and my heart goes out to you if you are dealing with that but I personally haven't experienced any of it which again, I feel super lucky for. So I don't really have anything to speak on that. Uh, I did find out I was pregnant back in March. So it's been a while now that we've known. I think I found out at right about the three week mark. Like I was three weeks pregnant when I found out. We did have that first checkup. I think my first checkup was at the four week mark. So it was pretty quick. And then we also had another one at about seven weeks. And that's when we got to do the first ultrasound and we saw the baby. So if you guys do not know a little bit of our backstory is back in November, we actually experienced what is called a blighted ovum, pretty much where the pregnancy um, isn't a viable pregnancy and you your body kind of tricks itself into thinking you're pregnant, but there's no actual baby. Uh, we dealt with that and that was something that was really hard for us. And so initially we had decided pretty close after dealing with that, that we were going to continue to try and I really just went into it with like a positive mindset and I know that that sounds like oh easy to say but I really think it made all the difference I literally said the month that we got pregnant I was like I'm getting pregnant this month like it's happening and I believed it with every single ounce in me I never felt like that before and I just believed it I was like it's happening and sure enough it did so we are just super blessed super excited that this pregnancy has been going so well so far and we are just so excited we can't wait to meet our little boy so I am due on December 4th first we're gonna have a little Christmas baby which is gonna be so exciting I live in Michigan and that's a snowy time in Michigan so that freaks me out just a little bit because it is going to be a winter baby so that means appointments and checkups and things will all be in the winter time I don't really love driving in the snow but I'll have to get over it obviously we are so excited um so it's actually like a week after Thanksgiving so we're kind of looking at like Thanksgiving Christmas ish area so definitely a holiday baby which will be fun my husband Shane's birthday is actually the 23rd of November so it's gonna be like pretty close to his birthday as long as he comes on time so we had our last appointment a few weeks ago and that one was an ultrasound and that one was actually the anatomy scan so they did that one at 19 weeks where they went through and just checked baby's measurements um, check to make sure overall baby was healthy growing and everything like that. They checked the brain It was really a longer ultrasound. I think it was about half an hour 45 minutes He actually was giving us a hard time and we had to go walk around a bit because he wouldn't flip over He was kind of just being stubborn um, But yeah, we ended up having that and everything mostly went well on that The only thing that they did tell us is that my placenta is a little bit low uh, so as of right now if that isn't going to move then I'm going to have to think of alternative birth plans because it wouldn't really be safe to do like a vaginal birth a lot of times they told me it's very common for this to happen which where it moves though in the next few weeks so I have to go back in at I think right about 28 weeks and go in for another ultrasound and see if it did move up and if it did then we should be good to go I have a lot of friends who have told me that they've had this happen to them as well and theirs did end up moving so fingers crossed that that happens for us but they didn't sound like too concerned or anything like that with it um, and I don't feel like overwhelmingly concerned either I kind of just think it's one of those things that we kind of just have to make sure that it does move and if not kind of plan accordingly for that so movement is something I want to talk about I started feeling him move I put it in my phone I think it was the 14th of July I need to put it in his baby book I actually already started that which is good so I felt him move the 13th so the 13th of July was the first time I felt him move and I was in bed 
and I was like, oh my gosh, that feels weird. And I kind of was like, okay, was that maybe? And then it happened again right after and again and again. And I was like, that's definitely what that is. So that was interesting. And then ever since then, I felt him every single day, which has been so much fun. I have to say that's like my favorite part so far. Just feeling him move. It's been so fun to kind of get his pattern too. Like I've noticed it every single day, especially active at night. Um, and early in the morning, I feel like that's when I notice it the most. Throughout the day, I'll feel like little jabs here and there, but a lot of times it's like at night, and I always feel like I feel it more when I'm laying down. Shane has been trying so hard to feel it. He's so cute. He always like puts his hand there like, oh, it's happening. Okay, okay, let me feel, but it's not at the point yet where he can actually feel it. Um, it's kind of just me feeling it, and I'm like, oh, did you feel it? And he's like, no. <laughs> so uh, we're excited to get to the point where he can actually feel the kicks as well, but that's been really, really cool and really exciting for me. And it kind of also, with everything that had happened previously, um, although I went into this pregnancy with such a positive mindset, like I swear to you guys, I was like, this is happening, this baby's going to be perfect, like I really just haven't had any like doubts per se, uh, like I did with the last pregnancy, but I will say that having him moving around in there and like feeling him move around, it does give me like peace of mind, you know, you kind of always just like wonder like, okay, what if something happened, but um, at this point, I feel like it's just been really, really nice to be able to feel him moving, to know that he's in there, everything's going good. So yeah, it's been really, really exciting. And then like I said, we did have our gender reveal. That was a lot of fun. We did that. The bump is definitely growing. I feel like over the last like three weeks or so, it just really started to pop out. So that's been fun. Um, I kind of was just waiting because it's kind of like one of those things where you feel pregnant you kind of look it to yourself a little bit, but you're like, oh, can anyone else notice? And now I feel like it's really started to pop out to where people can definitely notice. And I feel like that's been fun. I've been buying lots of like little dresses and things, you know, actually starting to really feel like you look pregnant and you know, you feel pregnant inside. So it's kind of just like, you know, one of those things where you want people to be able to notice as well. So that has been really fun. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for a bump update. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what we have. I have a t-shirt on today. So I don't know that it's gonna be super noticeable. I should have wore something different. All right, so here is the bump update. I'm kind of tightening the t-shirt so you guys can see. I just have like leggings on, let's go this way. Um, but it's definitely popping out, like I said, quite a lot. And it's definitely starting to harden as well. It feels really hard, which is fun, kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, baby is definitely in there and growing. Um, we are right on point with where we should be with growth and everything like that, which is exciting. So now I want to talk about a few of my must-haves now that we've got the bump and all of like kind of, you know, everything out of the way. I want to talk about a few of the must-haves I do have. So like I said, I've had it really easy so far. I've been super lucky. So I haven't really had, you know, too many items that have been really gravitating towards or needing off the bat. I had a really easy first trimester and it's been great so far in the second. But a few of my must-haves that I have had that I actually want to talk about is one of them is the Shop Tagger app. And this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I have worked with them in the past. But I just want to talk about how great I think that this app is, and especially if you are pregnant, I highly, highly recommend it. I have been addicted to watching like must-have videos and like all the pregnancy videos, all the mommy videos. I've been starting my baby registry, which has been really fun. And the whole time I'm watching those videos, what's been really nice in using ShopTagger is actually, you know, a lot of those videos have clickable links. And I can just click them and then add them to my shop tagger accounts kind of before I was like fully started the registry I think I just finished mine but before I'd done that I actually was kind of just trying to figure out what products did I want so I was watching a lot of must-have videos adding those to my shop tagger and then once I had everything on there I was figuring out like which ones I really wanted and then adding them that way and it just made it a lot easier it didn't make it so stressful and I feel like I was able to finish it and kind of know exactly what I wanted so I definitely recommend that if you are an expected mom download the shop tagger app I use it on my phone actually it's super easy to use uh, the directions are really well on the website too so you can kind of figure it out but it's basically a list almost that just saves everything right there to an account and then you can actually just click on the items and then add them directly to your registry it's super helpful also another must have I don't have it with me but has been my bio oil so I actually purchased another stretch mark cream I actually have it next to me it was the stretch heel cream and I really didn't like this one and I've been using the bio oil and I just feel like I feel so much more hydrated when I'm using that I have been starting to get like a little bit itchy and I've been noticing um, I've had a few stretch marks pop up which I figured would happen I'm pretty prone to getting them 
but I feel like when I do apply the bio oil, it doesn't feel so dry and I don't notice it myself like feeling really itchy. Um, I feel like it just does a better job of hydrating my skin. So I would recommend checking out the bio oil. I've also heard there's one from Mama's something, I think. I can't remember. A few people have recommended it to me. I'm going to try that one next after my bio oil does run out. But I would recommend getting some type of oil to apply because I just feel like I just, you know, you're so dry and everything's just like growing and it's kind of uncomfortable. So just, you know, having your body moisturized just feels a lot better, at least for me it does. Another must have that I do have is actually the like sleep bras or like the soft bras. I don't have any with me again. I should have brought all this stuff out. I'll put up like a picture here. Um, but in the, especially in the first, I would say like the first trimester, we're kind of out of it now, but I had like really, really sore, sore breasts. I feel like the only thing that could help me sleep is wearing these at night because I was just so uncomfortable when I didn't have a bra on. And for, the, for me, like I really just liked sleeping in those. I kind of have gotten out of it now, but in that first beginning, it was kind of like really just uncomfortable. And that just made it a little bit easier wearing those. And then, you know, obviously as things grow and things like that, um, they were helpful too because they weren't as stricting as like a regular bra. So as far as apps, I did want to talk about the apps that I've been using. So the only one that I have been using is the Baby Center app. And if you guys have a better app for me, just let me know. This is the one that I've been basing it off of. And I like it a lot. It has a lot of information on here. There's groups and things like that. But it also kind of just tells you where you're at in your pregnancy. They have like these little videos. And it's just been fun to see like the different um, milestones. Right now the, si the baby is the size of a carrot. So it's just been kind of fun. This is the only app that I've been using. But if you guys do have another recommendation, I thought about looking into a few other ones. But that's just the one that I've been personally using. And then kind of my last recommendation is just like a big water bottle. I feel like I drink so much water. There for a minute early on I was getting a lot of headaches. And I realized. I probably wasn't drinking enough water. I, I feel like I was drinking so much, but the more I drank, the more they kind of went away. So I got, or I have this big one here. It's just from Pink, but it's one of those like really large water bottles. I recommend just having one of these with you kind of all the time. And for me, it was hard to just remember to drink water because I never feel like, I mean, I feel so thirsty, but I also, you know, get busy doing things and things. So having that in front of me was really helpful. So definitely get a big water bottle. But I think that's pretty much it as far as recommendations go. And then um, as far as cravings, I really haven't had any. Uh, just really, I've just been liking fruit, wanting fruit. Uh, I haven't really had any like certain like weird craving or something I don't like that I want to have. Like nothing like that. I know a lot of you guys were asking that. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I needed to answer that you guys have been wondering. Uh, the name, we do know the name, but we will not be sharing it until he is born. So you guys will have to wait. But we've actually had our name picked out for a long time. So we are so excited to finally like know the gender and know his name. So we are super excited about that, but I won't be sharing it. I think other than that, that that's pretty much it where I'm gonna end it for this video. I know it's probably kind of all over the place. I feel like I should have been a little more organized, but hopefully you guys liked this video. I know you've been waiting and asking for this. It's been highly requested. So I hope you guys did enjoy just kind of seeing a little bit more into my pregnancy. I can't wait to take you guys along with me in this journey. Let me know any other like mommy pregnancy videos you guys want to see from me. I'm thinking about doing like maybe some hauls and things like that. So let me know down in the comment section what you would like to see and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>